Hello, hello to everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't look proper. Okay, give me, give me a second. I need to fix something. Okay, yeah, I look better now. <laughs> okay, hello to everyone. Let's start another, another English class. This is teacher Rodrigo. And today we're going to have the class number four. Okay, class number four. That means that we have just 20, 21 classes left to finish this course. We're going to end it up, I guess, in the middle of November. Okay, but try we're going to try to enjoy each class. All right. So today, uh, we're going to go over another topic. Okay, we're going to go over another topic. And, okay, yesterday, we studied a little bit about, for example, um, the topic of today it is how to use, how to use, how to use quantifiers, quantifiers. Good evening. How to use quantifiers. That is the title of this class, how to use quantifiers. And yesterday, we had some exercises where we use write the, the uncountable and countable. Do you remember countable and uncountable? Do you remember some yeah. things that are countable and uncountable? Do you remember the things that are countable and uncountable? Do you remember? Algunas cosas que son contables e incontables? Some things that are countable are sandwich, pasta. Okay. Pasta? No, pasta no. <laughs> uh, a bowl of pasta, some, yes. A bowl of pasta? Okay. Banana, eggs, candies. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay, and tell me some uncountable things. Uncountable. Water. Water, okay. Oil. And butter. Butter, okay. Uncountable. Also, the word money. Okay, the word money is too general. That's yeah. why it is considered uncountable. But we can count, for example, we can count bills. Okay, good. Let's continue with the class. Right, I don't know if you have your manual open. Okay, but well, to... We're going to refresh this info. Vamos a recordar esta información. For example, uh, do you, can you remember what a noun is? Can you remember what a noun, a noun is? What is a noun? Alguien recuerda que es un noun. Alguien recuerda que es un noun. Un sustantivo. I'm sorry. Sustantivo. Sustantivo. Ok, por ejemplo, en español los, los sustantivos eh, pueden ser um, cosas, animales, personas, lugares. Ok. Those are nouns in English. For example, here we have a noun is a person, 
a place, a thing. Okay, a noun can be a person, a place, a thing. All right, those are nouns. Those are sustantivos. Okay, but in English, we have countable and uncountable. Some nouns are countable and some nouns are uncountable. For example, countable nouns. Countable nouns are the nouns we can count. So, aquellas cosas que podemos contabilizar en inglés. Okay, countable. If there is only one singular noun, we can use a or an in front of it. Cuando utilizamos a, when, when, when do we use a? When do we use a? ¿Cómo se dice inicia? When you begin, when it begins. Uh, teacher. When the nouns begin and letter in, in consonant. Ah, okay. When the noun begins with a with a consonant, right? That's true. And when do we use an? An. When uh, nouns begin and vowel. Okay, good. When the when the noun begins with vowel, that's true. For example, apple. Para decir una manzana, apple. ¿Cómo sería? A apple or an apple? An apple. An apple. Umbrella. An umbrella. An umbrella. Um, let me see. Car. A car. A car. A car. House. A house. House. Okay, very good. So we are clear. Estamos claro en eso. We are clear. Yes. For example, if there is only one. For example, if there is a more than one, plural noun, we usually add S. Okay, si el... Si tenemos más de una casa, más de algún animal, más de una persona, entonces vamos a agregar S al final. O E S en ciertos casos. Por ejemplo. Ok. If we want to ask about the quantity of countable, now we use the phrase how many. Si queremos saber la cantidad de algo que son contables, podemos utilizar la palabra o la pregunta, perdón, how many. Si esos objetos o esa o de lo que estamos hablando son contables. Por ejemplo, si usted quiere saber cuántos automóviles hay, usted puede decir how many cars, how many cars, or how many people, how many houses. What else can we use? When can we use how many? Tell me some cases. How many cars do you have? How many cars? What else? How many children? How many uh, children? Sing as it. Children. Children. How many children? How many houses? How many cars? How many people? How many how many mangoes? How many coconuts? Okay, things that we can count. Okay. How many apples do you want? Uncountable. ¿Cuál es la forma de pregunta que utilizamos para uncountable? We use, well, countable are things that we can count. For example, how much? How, how much? How much? Esa es la pregunta que vamos a utilizar para, para incontables. 
uncountable. Uncountable. How, how much sugar, how much sugar do you want in your tea? How much sugar do you want in your tea? How much sugar? ¿Por qué sugar, teacher? Porque sugar en inglés pertenece al grupo de los incontables. Teacher, buenas noches. ¿Cree que me okay. puede dar la eh, diapositiva para tomar una captura? Permítame, solo voy a explicar esa parte y después regreso. Por favor. Ok, most, most, eh, ¿cómo convertirlos al plural? La mayoría de los nouns, the majority or most of the nouns, we have just to add S at the end. For example, duck, ducks, apple, apples. In some cases, for example, If the noun ends up in X, double S, CH, or SH, we need to add ES. ES, for example, George, Georges, Peach, Peaches. Okay. Uh, for example, ending in a vowel plus Y. Que termina en vocal, vocal Y. In those cases, we need to add just S. For example, they, days. Toy, toys. Okay, but if the word or the noun ends in Y, consonant Y, okay, we need to drop the Y and we need to add I, E, S. Cherry, cherries. Lolly, lollies. Is it clear this part? This is similar to the third person singular in the simple present tense. Is it clear? Yes, it is. Okay, got it. Hey, Miss Clarissa, what part would you like to see again? Miss Clarixa. Sí, teacher, sí, disculpe. What part would you like to see again? Okay. Hello? Sí, lo, no, sí, lo escuché, pero. What part would you like? What part would you like to see again? I see again. Okay, maybe I guess she's having some problem with her internet connection. Well, read the conversation and correct the mistakes. All right, we're, we need to read the conversation and correct the mistakes. I'm going to leave this part and then you have to tell me what are the mistakes. If you like, I see a game.
Okay, did you find the mistake? I find one that is how much jam do you want? I'm sorry, can you please put your microphone closer because I can hear you. Okay. And the last sentence said, how many jam do you want? And it have to be how much jam. Okay, how want. much how much jam? Let me see yes. what it is. Ah, ham. Okay, how many ham? Yeah. How much ham? Ham. Okay. Exactly. How much ham? Okay, okay, that is one mistake. And another one. For example, I don't know if you can identify the mistake. Okay, how about this? How about this? You have to find the mistake. You have to find the mistake. I'm sorry. Hello. Well, uh, Tom's. What is the mistake that you can find here? I I noticed too now. The mistake is on the second sentences. Okay. They say, would you like an uh, onion? And it have to be, would you like an onion? Okay, also here it says, excellent miss. But six, it must be in plural. Six, six slices. Is slices. Slices, yes. Would you like an onion to eat with cheese? How about this? Here we have, let's make a sandwich. Lunch, how much? How much bread will be needed? Because it's uncountable. El pan es incontable. How much bread will we need? Four slices will be enough. We will need cheese and four tomatoes, plural. How much ham do you want to put in? Here, six is uh, slices. Here, slices, plural. Would you like an onion to eat? No, about five minutes, plural. Okay, those are the mistakes. Oh, those are the mistakes of countable and uncountable. Well, uh, now we need to move to page, vamos a abrir el manual. Page 15, page 15. It says, Expressions of quantity use with non count nouns. Okay, expresiones de cantidad utilizados con incontables. Por ejemplo, a little, a lot of, some, some of, sometime. Much, a great deal of, plenty of. Teacher, disculpe que, que lo interrumpa. Página 15 dijo, ¿verdad? Um, yes, page okay. 15. Eso se me... Okay, okay. Uh, a little, remember, these expressions are used for uncountable, non-countable. Okay, a little time, a lot of time, some time, much time, a great deal of time, plenty of time, and no time. And also we have expressions of quantity used with count, count noun, on 
contables. For example, a few hours, a lot of hours, some hours, many hours, plenty of hours, and no hours. As you can see, the difference here, it is just many and a few. A few and many. And then you can use either, either uncountable or uncountable. Okay, it says identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in the statement below. You will read six sentences, six sentences, and you have to find three mistakes. Three mistakes. So I'm gonna give you four minutes. Four minutes to read the sentences, identify the mistakes, and then you have to share with us, okay? Four minutes, it starts now. Four minutes to identify the mistakes. Um, two minutes, two minutes.
Okay, there we go. It's time. Time to uh, solve the exercise together. For example, it says Dana project the new product will not attract much customers. Did you find, is there any mistake in the sentence number one? Yes, it is. What is the mistake? It's many customers. Many customers, very good. Yeah. Many customers. That is the mistake. Number two. It says, it is necessary to revise some of the components of the marketing strategy. Is there any mistake in number two? Is there any mistake in the number two? I say many teacher. Many K. Uh, many components. Components. Nope. Uh huh. Nope. Components. No. Nope. Miss Jessica. Teacher, I think some it's okay. But I think of the, of the, it's not, it's not okay. Some components. I some think. components. Some. Yes. But then, okay, we're going to leave this. Lo vamos a revisar después. Sí, teacher. Okay. Estoy con esa duda. Well, well <coughs> we found one, right? Miss Jessica says that the mistake it is some of the, we need to eliminate this, some components. Okay, we need to find only three three mistakes related with quantifiers. Okay, before sales decline, it is essential, essential that we implement a great deal of modification. Is there any mistake in the number three? I think it's a lot of mo modification. A lot. Yes. There it is. Before shall decline, essential that we implement a great deal. I think so because you can count the, mo the modifications. So the mistake it is great deal. I think so. Okay. I'm not sure about two because okay, we're going to leave this one left. As a, check it out. Plenty of customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. I think that is okay. You think it is okay? Yes. All right, a little, a little, uh, a little competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. There is a few competitors have established low Here. prices for products. Yes. Mm-hmm. A few competitors. A little. For example, no, a few. few. A few competitors, yeah. Yeah, because, y, y están diciendo, ¿por qué few, no little? Porque little es para incontables y few es para contables. Yep. Okay. Supermarkets have placed many orders of green tortricas mm -hmm. This week, did you find a mistake? Supermarkets have placed many orders 
of green tortricas. Is there any mistake in the sentence? Many is okay. Many is okay. Yeah. Okay, so we need to find only one. Necesitamos encontrar uno. Un error. No sé si ya lo habrán visualizado. Entonces partimos que la número cuatro y la número seis están bien. Y estamos en veremos la número dos y la número tres. ¿Cuál sería el error? Number three or number two, what is the mistake? I think number three, I don't know. Number Anything. two or number three? <laughs> we need to number choose only three. number two or number three, but no both. Number three. Number three. Why? Because Number three, because about... great deal, it is used with? Non-countable. Uncountable. A modification we can count. So we can say, as Miss Jessica said, I guess, she said we can use a lot of, a lot of modifications. Here you can see, aquí lo pueden ver, es que no está... A lot, a great deal with, so únicamente está con incontables. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Muy bien. Okay, well, now we're going to solve the exercise number one, number two, three, four, I'm sorry, exercise seven, building vocabulary, and we're going to solve this exercise, this exercise, this one. Okay, we're going to solve the exercise.
We are done, teacher. We're done, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I think we 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 don't so we finished the, 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 the exercise. Hello. Hello. Well, uh, we, you finished the exercise. Very good. Okay. So today we're going to go over the topic. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Good. Okay. The the number the word number one. Okay, I'm going to read the word, and you have to tell me the description. Okay, you have to tell me the description. For example, of of excellence. 
obsolescence. Jesus, it's tricky word. What it is the description of this number one? It's a significant decline in the competitive or value of a product, usually uh, because a more inno innovative. innovative, innovative, or a cheaper one is available. All right, very good. Demand downturn. A reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or service. Okay. Can you repeat it again? A reduction of customers interest in buying a buying a product or service. 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 Okay, excellent. Change in customer reference. Mm -hmm. Changes in customer preferences. That's clear, right? The presence of innovative products or service causes a customer to change their tastes and preference. And eventually, number four. Okay, well, let's uh, review a topic. Vamos a repasar un tema. Okay. El cual es the simple past tense. The simple past tense. Sense. Okay, so as you remember, in English, we have two kind of we have two kind of verbs. We have two kind of verbs. What are those verbs that you remember? Regular. I'm sorry? Regular. Regular and? Irre irregular. Irregular, excellent. What are the uh, regulars? Don't change the form of the verb, like. It doesn't change the form of the verb, very good. Those are regular, right? And irregular? And irregular, what are the irregular verbs? Okay. Like C, the okay. verb C. I, I, so, I saw. Uh -huh. exactly. So, uh, irre irregular are those verbs in which you have to change all the structure and you have to memorize. It. For example, here, what is the past form? Is? Was. 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 Excellent. What is the past of take? Took. 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 Very good. I spoke. Oh. I spoke. You gave. Gave. Very good. Became.
ค่ะอืมอืมเรื่องเอเรื่องเกิดเรื่องเรื่องลิฟลิฟฟอลวอร์ดทอเอ่ทอดดิสิสทอดทอดทอดทอดทอดสเปลทอดเบจิตเลิร์นท์ I don't know. <laughs> learn, learn. It is either regular and irregular. Oh no. Learn. It is. Learn. It, it is either regular and irregular. Mm. Can be with learned and learned. Mm. Both graduate. Graduate. Graduated. Graduate. No. A A A. Graduate. A little A. Met. 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 Died. Bye. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. So we're going to keep practicing the simple past tense. It is very important to remember these structures because um, It, we commonly use a lot. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do an exercise where we have to choose either simple present or simple past. Ready? Simple present or simple past? Do you have? Do you have? Excellent. Simple present. Did Mary went? Mm -mm. Did Mary go? Did Mary go? Well, Little did. Little did. Did Mary go? Okay. Is wagging? Wagging. Squawks. Dog always wags. 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 It's a routine. Says last Save. month, simple Save. past. Save. Last month, simple past. Said Julia and her mom and her mom often routines. Watches. Wash. Wash. Wash because we have a compound subject. Julia uh, and her two subjects. Mark. 
I'm going to go back, for example, Jayden? Julia, Julia and her yeah, mom. So her two, mom. Two, 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 two objects. Yes. That's why we need to use wash. Doesn't um, study? Mark math every morning. Doesn't studies. Yes. Studies. No, study. Study. No, study. Little, little tea. Yeah, good. Cashier. Work. 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 The cashier yesterday. Work. 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 yesterday. Work. Pass. Work. Simple pass. Excellent. Travel. 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 Every year, Kate. Travel. 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 Are you sure? Travels. Tra no. okay. Travels. Presente simple. Todos los. En el presente simple, si tenemos un pronombre en la tercera persona, el singular en la forma afirmativa, agregamos S o ES al verbo. She ate. She ate. She ate. 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 The baker. Doesn't deliver? Doesn't. Doesn't delivers. Delivers. I think it's C. Mm -hmm. C or D? D. Doesn't deliver. Okay, so okay, some of you said D and some others said C, but I need just one. C. D. B. D. Okay, I heard three people who said the lip doesn't delivers. Okay, so which one? C or D? Yeah. La última. C. 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 Okay. Remember when we C. have negative form, we, we don't add S or E S whatever. Bueno. Iba a dar un repaso del simple pass, pero mejor voy a dar un repaso del simple pass. <laughs> Okay, vamos a practicar un poco la third person singular. Third person singular del simple past, del yeah. simple present. Recordarle. Les voy a hacer recordar. Eh, por ejemplo, si estamos en, en el presente simple, vamos a agregarle. Little bit. Este. Hello. Hello. Someone, someone says something. All right. Okay. Uh, the simple present tense, third person singular. Well done. Okay, third person singular. Vamos a recordar cuándo vamos a agregar ES a los verbos, cuándo únicamente S. Eh, cuándo sí, cómo hacerlo en forma negativa, cómo hacerlo en forma de pregunta. Okay, for example, here it says, She goes to the cinema. Is it correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Incorrect. Incorrect. Doesn't go. I don't. I don't. Incorrect. Incorrect. Little bit. Little bit.
Incorrect. Incorrect. It's incorrect. 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 Correct. 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 Um, Correct. 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 Incorrect. Correct. 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 Incorrect. Incorrect. We cooks. Incorrect. Incorrect. Correct. Incorrect. Correct. Incorrect. Every Wednesday, I learn English. Correct. Correct. She sees the sky. Correct. Correct. Ah, correct. I'm sorry, my bad. My bad. Okay, good. I need... I need to remember this topic because I consider that is very important. Yeah. And we need to practice the simple present tense because I see you got confused when we need to add S when you don't have to add S. Okay. Hold on. Can you see the PDF? Yes. Okay, we need to practice. We're gonna practice this part with our classmates. Okay, take a picture. We're going to practice this part. Okay, como evidencia, me van a enviar un documento eh, al grupo de WhatsApp para ver a dónde es que están fallando o si ya pudieron
he teach students. He started. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Our lessons starts and finishes. It right? starts and finishes, yeah. Siempre me voy que no es. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, my 10th friend? Clip. Live. Lives. Mary and her brother watch cartoons every Sunday. Yeah, watch. And the last one, John. John. Tidy his room every day. Tidy. Mm. Can I want to do it? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Igual que el profesor. So, the teachers are going to say teachers. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh, that's my oh, teachers. <laughs> he teaches teachers. Teachers, okay. Uh -huh, teachers. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 like, uh, uh, uh. Yes. With S, <laughs> right, like this, right? Yes. I'm finished. Finish. Mm. Three thirty. My, my pen friend. My pen friend lives. 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 Lives, verdad? Lives. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, 
Uy, este no lo alcanzo a ver. Este... What? María Angel Brother, what? Pero, ahí está, es que no. Permita. No, pues nada. Pero se más. le mueven todas. Sí, tiene razón. Quiero ver cómo puedo hacer. Creo que es el juego. La, la nueve no la ven. Me tapa aquí. Ahorita. Ah, porque aquí sí se ve bien. ¿no? Ajá, es que me sale un. María Ángel. Ahí está, ahí está. Watch. Watch cartoons every Sunday morning. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, me equivoqué, me equivoqué. Pues, sí. Pues, sí. Don T T D. T D, ¿verdad? T D S. Es un ahorita ahí. Bah. No, ti, con, no es con ese. Mm. La última, eh. la 10. Uh -huh. Ti 10, es porque es tercera persona. Sí, sí, sí. Siempre borra la anterior. Ti 10. Ah. En la, y le falta en play se le borró en la primera o quedó arriba ah tiene arroz ah la de arriba play solo esa se borró ¿verdad? sí uh -huh. No, pero es con I. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. <ríe> Ay. Tengo miedo. No, pues no tenga. Espérelo. ¿Pero se entiende? Sí. Sí. <risa> Nosotras sabemos que me unimos. <risa> Finish, teacher. Excellent. Is there any question? Que si lo hemos hecho bien. Ah, ok. Let's play. <laughs> But it's in. Hold on. Si yo me equivoqué, usted. Play va unido, pero. Sí, era, era en presente simple, pero. Ah, pero como no estaba la, la, la indicación. La indicación. Ah, perdón. Fue, sí, fue mi culpa. Bye. Bueno, supongamos que estamos en pasado. Play, played, wash, washed, draw, life, flu, help, help, watch, watch, like, light. When... Yes. Y las Click. oraciones. Peter, and the second part, is it in present or, or is it in past? Present simple. Mm, let me see Peter and his friends go. Uh -huh. Elephants eat, works, closes, play. Mr. John is a teacher. He teaches excellent. Our lessons start and finish. My, my pen friends live. Excellent. 
Mary, excellent. Very good. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Very good. Finish the chair and I share the screen in the group. Okay, Miss, I'm going to check it out now. Welcome. Okay, good. Well, we work well, you work on the on the exercises, the person singular, simple simple present. I don't know if someone can share a screen. If someone can share a screen, please to see the exercise. Let me see the 
Okay, I don't know if someone can share the exercise, please. Okay, it says number one, play, it is place. Wash, it is washes. Dry, drives. Fly, flies. Fly. Fly. Help, helps. Watch, helps. watches. Watch like, Likes. Likes. Cry is it? Cries. C R I E S. Go. Teach. Okay. Go. Goes. Teach. Go. Teaches. Teach. Carries. I E S. Star. Starts. Star. Stars. Kisses. Kiss. Kisses. A tidy tires. Okay. Se termina con Y. Se termina la Y y agregamos I E S. Enjoy, enjoy. Yes. Enjoys. <clears throat> Mix, mixes. Okay. Good. Next part. Oh my God. It says, Peter and his friend, go, elephant, eat. eat. Davis' father works, the bank closes, Tom and Jim play. Uh, he teaches, our lesson start at nine and finish. My pen fr friend lives, Mary and her brother watch, John Titus, okay, T-I-D-I-E-S. Very good, excellent exercise. Okay, well, now let's see the speaking part. For example, make sentence using these two words, hacer oraciones. ¿Cómo podrían relatar? Make a sentence. Any volunteer? Who wants to give it a try? Peter has lunch at 12 p.m. Peter, I'm sorry, Peter? Has lunch. Has at lunch? 12. At 12. At 12? And then what yeah. happened? And then he takes lessons. He oh, takes yeah. or he takes? He takes a lesson. He takes lesson. Very good. Do work do woodworking and listen to music. I listen to music. I listen to music. Uh, on the house. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I listen to music in the house. Okay. On the house. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, and do work good working. Okay, how about this? Maybe the previous one was too difficult. Okay, two sentences. We go home. We go. We goes or we or we go. We go. Okay, we go home. And we then... go home. She brush. She tea. brush tea. Her tea. One more time. She brushes. She brushes. brushes. She brushes. Brushes. Her teeth. Her teeth. Her teeth. I wash my face. I wash my face. I read my book. I read my book. Is I it the read. third person singular? He reads the book. He reads. She reads. She... Or he reads. Next. You read. You read. No, no, I no está el verbo read. read. I, 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 I newspaper. Nope. <clears throat> you read. Nope, miss. Um, es que me está diciendo read y ahí no está el verbo read. Them. She get dressed, dressed. She and then she get dressed. She gets gets. Uh, okay, she gets dressed. She she. I don't know. Do or does she does no, do, she does she does she does her homework. Excellent. Okay, she does her homework and she gets she gets dressed. Good. Have dinner, go to school. He, he has dinner. I'm sorry? I, I go to a school. I go to school. Every day. Every day. I go to a school every day in the morning. Okay, and have dinner? No, Lisa, I go to a school every day in the morning. Yeah, that's right. He has I dinner. go to a school every day in the morning. Yes, miss, I... I... I listen to your sentence. Un poco fónica. Okay, how about have dinner? Third person singular. He or she? He. 
He has dinner. He has dinner. He has dinner every day. Every day. Have breakfast and get up. He has breakfast in the morning. He has breakfast in the morning. She get. She get. She gets up. Uh, early every day. I, gets, I get up and sit a glow. Mm. I get up and sit a glow. <clears throat> I get up at six o'clock. Okay. Very good. Sí. Ah, me escucho. Okay. Okay. Que soy afónica. Yeah. Se le escucha perfectamente, Miss. Ok, gracias por decirme. Ok. Very good. Okay, I need to share with you something before to end up the class. Here you have this link. Can you please open the link? A cual chat mandó el link. I'm sorry. A cual chat mandó el link. Zoom. Ah, I'm sorry. Here you have. Okay. Eight. Okay, I'm going to start right now.
Excellent. Well, we don't have enough time to review. I'm going to tell you just the top five. Mr. Manuel, Guillermo, Sandra, Daniel, and the winner, Miss Jessica, España. Very good. Congratulations. Now I need to take the attendant list. So please, your cameras on. And here we go. Hernandez Sotelo. Maribel Ramos. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. Guerrero Molina. López González. Rugamas Melano. Present teacher. Present. Ana González. Present teacher. Present. Cristina. Present. Alvarado Mejía. Present. León Rivera. Present teacher. Castaneda Velasco. Romero Ayala, Isabel Hernández, Molina de García, Present. López de Cabrera. Present. Good. Okay. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the class number five. Teacher, you. you didn't yeah. say my you name. You are the same hour. Yes, I, I say your name. Teacher, present. <laughs> I'm sorry. España aquí. Present. I'm sorry, Miss. Okay. Teacher, present. Yaritza. Yaritza, okay, good. Yaritza Ramos. Okay, Miss. Que estaba sobre el link. All right, well. Well, well España okay. here, teacher. <laughs> yes, Miss. Good night. Cristina is here, teacher. Okay, Miss Guerrero Molina. Yes. Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you.